Good morning, Hornet Nation. Welcome to The Daily Buzz. I'm Joe Hutzler. A lot to get to, as always, so let's get started. We begin today with women's basketball, heading on the road this afternoon for a big game within the ODAC, a team that has 18 straight ODAC victories, and Coach Abby Pizek smith says it's just another part of the process. I think our mindset has been a, it's been a long journey of having kind of that pressure and high expectation, and no one has more high expectations than we do on ourselves. I think the ultimate thing is really focusing on us. Um, we constantly are working to improve. We have a, a lot of youth. Molly Shepard stepped up big the last game, um, really balanced when, you know, it's not just one person. You know, it's kind of joking um, to our staff. You know, we haven't received an ODAC Player of the Week, which has been very well deserved all over the, the conference. But I think that goes to show that we're such a balanced team. We don't really have that one, you know, one standout at any night. Someone can step up. And I think that makes us very, very special and takes a little pressure off because we know we are so balanced as a team. I think it just goes to prove our culture and how strong that is and how they play for each other and invest in each other and, you know, and, and compete. You know, this is a very competitive team that, you know, wants to be at the top and wants to continue to build on what we've built on. And I think they've done a great job of being fit, you know, our culture of being in shape and all of those things has really helped as we've, you know, had to finish out games in that aspect. Um, but then also being very disciplined in who we are and, and building it the right way. And, and they've invested in that and, you know, we've seen the rewards of that. On the other end of the spectrum, men's basketball is trying to piece some things together for more consistency. Coach Hillary Scott says it begins with defense. I think what's been lacking for us the last, really all season, consistency has been on the defensive end. Um, you know, our offensive numbers have been really good this year. Scoring the ball, shooting the ball. Um, our free throw percentage has gotten better here in the last month, probably. Um, but defensively, we just haven't been able to get stops when we needed needed to. Um, you know, we're four and four in the league. Three of those losses, we've been tied or uh, up. You know, with two minutes to go, and so trying to find a way to finish these games off is what is what has been the challenge this year. We're sitting in fifth place right now. We've got all the top four teams ahead of us, all at home in the last eight games. So, if you want to make a move, that's the best scenario to have. So. Um, but we're really focusing on this one on Wednesday. Um, should be a great atmosphere. Got all the students back. Um, we've always had some, some, some tough battles here the last few years against Guilford, and um, I don't expect anything different. Both teams will be on the floor tonight. The women will be on the road at 530 against Virginia Wesleyan, and the guys will be right here at home at 7 p.m. Our coverage on the Lynchburg Hornets Sports Network will begin promptly at 645 p.m. As we do every day here on the Daily Buzz, we let you know what day it is on the National Day calendar. And today is National Opposite Day. And we thought, well, we could dress opposite ways, we could do something cheesy, but why not switch roles for a little bit? So I decided to become a student, and one of our LHSN members, Terry Clay, decided to be the teacher. Here you go. Good afternoon, class. I am Dr. Clay. Um, so this class is department, what class is this? Am I teaching this class? Yeah, I am teaching this class. Sports interviewing and production, okay? Talk by Dr. Clay. Yes. How many skips do we get? You get one. For the whole semester? The whole semester. So use it wisely. Let's go. So y'all got jokes? Y'all got jokes? So that means I can leave too, right? <laughs> I promise I wasn't that bad in school. It's just for this one day. Well, we hope you have a great day on National Opposite Day. And remember, it's a great day to be a Hornet, and we are one nation. <laughs>